Hey folks, welcome back. Mike here, and we're here to watch more Amphibia. It's uh, Season 2, Episode 13, and this one's called Ivy on the Run and After the Rain. And, huh, I mean, Ivy on the Run, that sounds like, I guess Ivy maybe runs away, maybe? I mean, I don't know, and After the Rain, uh... Who freaking knows? <laughs> Who freaking knows? But yeah, folks, uh, I appreciate you being here, watching more Amphibia with me. Uh, please, uh, if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to like the video. That helps a whole ton. And if uh, Patreon's your thing, if you like full-length uncut reactions and early access to edited videos that show up on the channel, then my Patreon is for you. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you want it in the link below in the description and in the pinned comment. But yeah, let's get right into it. Let's watch some more Amphibia. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna give you all a heads up. I have a really awful headache right now. <laughs> but the recordings must get done. Do a coward. Why didn't she just turn that off? Ooh, is Wing Chun? Is that, is that what that's called? Excuse Correct me if I'm wrong. I just well, used to remember Donnie Yen uh, doing that in some of his movies. Finish your chores first. What's this? A plate? A filthy plate. She runs a tight ship. And just look at these napkin swans. Their necks are looking pretty sad. Aw. Oh, come on, Mom. She's over Barry, though. You can already tell. Or not. I'm gonna be late. Up, up, up. Should have thought of that before you <laughs> rushed up, your up, chores. Up. Heavens, that'll be the morning rush. Ooh, they're busy in the mornings, huh? Uh, it's all the elderly frogs. Oh, I like the one with the scarf. I like his style. Oh, Ivy. Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> Ambush. Hey, Ivy. I wasn't here talking to myself. I love that even though they are dating, he still practices his greetings with her for her. That's cute. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Nice. What? That's so. A form of traditional oh my God! Is Anne? Mom enrolled me in a class when she realized how high spirited I was. Anne's trained. Awesome. Tell you what I need. What I really, really need. You know what mommy really needs? You out of her kitchen. The only lie. Anne's gonna teach oh me some sweet moves. You guys wanna join? Oh man, that sounds awesome. You see awesome. a face but like that, you know it's game over. We're about to go glitter bug hunting. Boy, time! Boy, time! Boy, time! Now let's catch some bugs. Yeah, okay? I love. Okay, I love that Anne is yeah. trained nice in Muay Thai. That's awesome. So tell me, pretty much have friends in every town from here to Utopia. Oh, your trip sounds amazing. That's the life she wants. Mm, I've never even been out of Wartwood. Well, next time I head out of the valley, maybe you can come with me. Aw. I mean, if you want, no big deal. Yeah. Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, check it That's out. That's cute. Ooh, pretty. All right, Sprig. Time for the super next. Whoa. Ah. That is super indeed. Is that a flying bee walkie? Ivy, you're late for your tea like ceremony lessons. Don't fuck mommy. Come home this instant. <laughs> oh, damn. Instant. Ooh, strict mother. Oh, Jesus. She's so cool. Okay. Listen well, my young polywog. I love that, my young polywog. Oh, no. Wrong poly. No patience. No discipline. Jian Yin. It means to have patience and a cool See? heart. She ain't getting the lesson. Ouch! Uh, totally Wally! Say that looks like fun. <laughs> Say that looks like fun. <laughs> you Watch him be like good at it. Huh? Yep. <laughs> That's You're pretty good. Do it. You see this right here, Polly? This is what you should be doing. And this was yours. What's wrong with it? There's no difference. What is the You're difference? You're just missing that extra something something. It's the details oh. that count, Ivy. Okay, now, the lid I'll was off. I'm not gonna lie, this looks boring. I mean, no disrespect for anyone who enjoys this stuff. Not for me. <laughs> we all have our off days, I suppose. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like how she's talking to her. That would annoy me. Careful. Don't break my frog china. <laughs> Shoot, did I leave a catalog? <laughs> oh, we'll deal with that in a bit. Now That's a good joke. Oh, it's got moves. Ivy, if you're gonna do things halfway, we'll just have to start over. Oh boy. That does it. Ivy's had enough. Do any of this boring, frilly garbage? Ain't for her. The only thing that's garbage is your attitude, Ooh, young lady. Damn. A nice cup of oolong will cure that right Ooh, up. Oolong tea. Do you care I like oolong. about anything other than tea? <laughs> she had that ready to go. You just don't get me, Mom. Ooh. 
Oh, <laughs> okay, I respect that. That's talent. Posters on my wall. Oh no. Are you trying to tell All me her something? posters have dictated the well, result I can't just already. Leave. There has to be another way. <laughs> the doing coward. Well, it's hard to argue with that logic. <laughs> that was a neat. That was an art. <laughs> nice sprig. Oh. Whoa. How'd I do that? <laughs> huh? Ivy? Come on, Sprig. You and I are leaving the valley tonight. Just me, you, and the open road. Oh. I mean, hypothetically, I like that piece of what music. if I was exaggerating about how much <laughs> banana valley expert I was? Abby, this is much hey. Oh, jeez. The swarm. Big trouble, young lady. Oh. Oh, yeah, Mom. Me and Sprig are running away and leaving Wartwood for good. Oh, oh, damn, Your she's right kids there. Are in big trouble. Oh, listen to that score. I love that. Not bad, Polly, <laughs> but you still lack discipline and patience. patience. Learn how to fly before I learn. Oh. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> Ivy Sundew, I've had it with your disobedience. Oh, hey, thanks. I've had it with your nitpicking, your rules, and your tea lessons. Oh, we need to I find a balance, you know? I such an ungrateful yeah. and disrespectful balance. daughter. Oh, yeah? Well, then. Maybe I don't even want to be your daughter. Ooh, that's hurtful. <gasps> and she knew it the second she said it. I want to see the world, you know? Get my hands dirty, learn martial arts, things like that. You can beat me in a martial arts fight. Wait. Three rounds. And Does she you know how to fight? You need to win one. What? Seriously? Does she know how to fight? <laughs> Against you? I mean, we saw her handle that tea <laughs> this is when it fell, be easy. right? Oh, jeez. This isn't going to go well. <laughs> Look at her. Look at the confidence. <laughs> Okay, she just got so much cooler. Holy shit. Oh, listen. Nice. Dude, listen to the, the score. Where'd you learn those moves? Oh, picked them up on my travels. Nice. She's. What travels? Oh, she has not told her daughter everything. Felicia. Oh wow! Again, I love the how the music is complementing the action. Oh my goodness! Winner. Now you're getting. Polly's understanding. Fold the swan napkin, huh? I said fold. Oh, it's all making sense. <laughs> How cool is that? Change the tablecloth. Oh my god. That is so cool. She's like Miyagi. Do it. All these arbitrary chores and lessons actually teaching something else. Where do you think my exotic selection of teas comes from? I love this. Or my frog china. I I had no idea. Want to travel the world, and I get it. But you have to be I misunderstood patient you. Because it's dangerous out there, and I just want you to be ready before we go. Mm -hmm. No All way. All these tea exercises were to prepare you for when I take you on my next tea gathering adventure. Oh, that is so You're freaking awesome. Ever. Where do you think I met your father? <laughs> Mom, please. <laughs> well, I guess our work here is done. Wow. To be honest, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen Polly? Oh, no. Gotcha! Oh. <laughs> you all? <laughs> That was technically your fault. Holy yeah, crap, Polly! For a baby, she packs a punch. How cool was that? Giving like such a side, giving a side character all that development like that—that that is amazing. I got a mail flight message. Ooh. Look how cute he is. Adorable. Excuse me. I never get mail. Open it. Open it. Eh, trust me, it's overrated. It's for Mercy. She says we're ready to travel to the first temple. Wait, what? Already? Look at Sprig. Check. Double check. Oh. Jumpy little fella. Cool. What else? Armor. Armor? She still has Not that. Believe Can we please get Ann another Each shoe? Very own suit of armor. Oh, in armor. Look at Polly. Hop, hop. Uh, this is the opposite of a suit of armor. <laughs> yeah, just one more thing. The music box. Uh, right, the music box. No problem. My contacts will have it ready by tomorrow. Great. You're the best. 
Sounds like someone else can't sleep either. Ooh, he's pacing. Come on, Hop Hop, what do you know? That you ain't telling us. That nerd a little scared. Oh no, she's gonna find out that he buried the music box. Are we gonna find- It can't be. The music box- No way. It's gone. What? Oh shit. Anne, what are you doing here? Did you just say the music box is gone? Oh no. Yeah, thank you. The box here, Why? Now it's missing. Tell me. Wait, what? I read the box was dangerous. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. You gotta understand. Oh, is that it? I was just trying to protect Sprig and Polly. I need the music box to get home. What are you trying to do? Keep me here forever? Oh, that's it, isn't <laughs> it? You sicko. Oh no, my god. No. <laughs> it's not like that. I've lost so much already. Hmm. And stop. <sighs> Look, I can't be here right now. Oh. I, I get that she's Anne, hurt. Don't follow me. And feels betrayed, but I feel like Don't! I feel like we need to hear his side. I see you! <laughs> we need to hear his side of the story though. Quest! 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 quest, quest. Oh god, look at that animation. Uh Pop Pop, are you okay? <laughs> I really mucked it up. You could tell he was drawn differently. I lied to Ann about the music box. I buried it under the tree out front. What? Oh, boy. Oh, it gets worse. It gets a lot worse. When we didn't get up last night, it was gone. I don't know why you did what you did, but you got to fix it. Mm. Yeah, you got to get out there and bring him <laughs> back. You're right. We must fetch I the boon toy. Mess, so dang it, I'm going to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was then unnecessary. Clean that up. It's like Thor. <sighs> Another. Well, let's move. Pro bro. <laughs> Let's motor pro bro. Oh, that sound effect was Oh, that was great. Mm. At least I'll always have you, Rocky. Sweet, sweet, dependable Rocky. Ah, beautiful Rocky. Yeah, I just can't take you seriously with that hair. <laughs> Slow to accept. <laughs> or slower right, to maybe respect. Maybe someone in town has that. seen the music box. I told it. Oh, gee. Hey, Maddie, um, what's going on? What? Someone dug a bunch of holes and stole stuff from everyone in town. I oh. used a talisman that if it fell into the wrong hands would bring an end to all living. I've said too much. No, I need to know more. That's important. A bunch of holes in the ground. Everyone's in danger, man. Holes in the ground, eh? Joe! valuables, too. Sounds like the work of the magpie beetle. Never heard that. Popping out of bushes, Soggy Joe. The magpie beetle is a rare breed of insect that lives underground. You see the one tattoo? Years, it burrows to the surface it and steals junk. A cabin crossed shell. out. It presents that shell to prospective mates in a ritual oh. called the Love Nado Dance. Ew. A spectacle much too dangerous to observe. Oh. And we're off. Should hear the rest of yeah, please. Yeah. Oh no, we need to know what Joe's gonna say. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Don't do this. Oh, guy. Here we go. That's fine. These kids have seen so much adventure. They've experienced way more life than I ever had. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. He used the goggles. Around I'm the shelf. going for it. Wait, Frank, no! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh no, Sprig! Ew! <laughs> Wish I had my bobby pins. <laughs> that was great. Oh. Love it. It's you. I am not talking to you right now, Hop Pop, if that's even your real name. Oh wait, Hop Hop's a nickname. Yeah, Hop and I don't know why I hid the music box. It's dangerous. Ooh. I was just trying to protect the family. Info. Then why did you lie? Well, because there's something I've never told you. Ooh. Something hard to talk about. No. That sounds like. I, I mean, this is important too, saving the kids. But I want to know. Some kind of love monsoon. Mm. Oh, I love oh. this. And we have to work together. Work with you? Not gonna happen. Oh come on, Anne. No, Anne. All the lessons in the first season and a half <laughs> work together. No, I lied to you, but trust me. At least long enough to save the kids. I am on the edge of my. Well, I'm not sitting. I'm, I'm on the edge of my my heels. Ew. But I, I get it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Right, grab on. Hang on. Nice hop up. 
Oh, yes! What's that Olympic sport called with the ball? You have to spin and throw it? I don't know what it's called. And now, we're through here. Oh, come on, Anne. Under like, listen. Anne, no. Come Where on. Where will you go? I'll go stay with someone who isn't a liar. I don't know. Maybe Loggle. Do you think she's being a little too them. harsh here? Anne, wait. Let me at least explain. Like, I get what it. What I did but wasn't it... right. I but I know. didn't do it to trick you. Sprig and Polly's parents. <gasps> oh, no. What happened to them? Uh -huh. That wasn't your fault. It was a few years ago. Wow. I was on a journey when the Herons attacked Wartwood. Oh. Sprig and Polly survived, but their parents weren't so lucky. Oh, no. If I'd just been there, I know things would have been different. Ever since then, I swore I'd never Aww. let my family down again. That's tragic. I'd do anything to protect them. So when I found out the box was dangerous, I lied to you and hid it away. You're my family, too. Aww. And I've let you down. I let us all down. I love found family tropes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Hop Hop, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. That voice acting was so good. Aw. Huh? Hop Hop, I forgive you. Nah, thank you, Anne. Reconciliation! <laughs> <laughs> Rain. I don't know. Like I said, everything they've been through, I think Anne at least should have heard him. Remember. And look. Cool. Calamity box? Eesh, that does sound bad. Mm. Yeah, not exactly comforting. So the yeah. planners have their own book on it, this. But this temple quest may be more dangerous than we thought. Are we going to the temple the next well, episode? Anne? After today, I'm pretty sure this gang can handle anything. Aw. I love you, you kids. Sure, you don't want to wear the puffy suits. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, okay. I just love had them to ask. so much. Oh, I love the I love this group. I love them so much. <laughs> oh man. Um. Wow. I wonder if we're going to the temple in the next episode. That's a big episode then. The first temple that uh that w was discussed in uh with uh shit, Andreas uh told them about. But, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know. If, to me, personally, again, this is just me. I mean, obviously, we're all going to have different opinions on this. I don't know. I, I get Anne felt really betrayed there. And, like, how could, you know, someone so important to me, you know, someone, my, you know, my family, you know, lie to me like that. But I don't know. I I feel like you still, I feel like she was still being a little too hasty, a little harsh there. I feel like you could at least hurt him out. I'm, you know, especially after he said he read the book, the botch was dangerous, and she still kind of was, but she was angry at that point. But again, that's just me. I'm I mean, for me personally, I'm always willing to hear people out before I make my final judgment. <laughs> but again, I get it, totally understand. She was totally valid with how she felt, but, but yeah, uh, it wasn't. It was it when the box got stolen. It wasn't as uh as big and dramatic as you thought it was going to be. It ended up just being these beetles and doing their whole little little mating thing whatever but uh i just love we got to see joe again just popping out of the bush and polly just go you gotta stop popping off like that like bro you gotta stop uh, but uh yeah so it seems like the what pop pop bread didn't really give enough info it didn't really give much besides the fact that it is dangerous it says beware now this is coming from a planner's perspective we still don't know exactly, I mean, you all probably do, but I still don't know exactly what the box is and what it represents. Uh, I still think Andreas wants it to use it as a weapon of some sort or to use it to maybe infiltrate other universes or dimensions like Earth and so forth, as we saw, you know, because they said they, their scientists, their explorers use it for travel to see other worlds. Uh, I feel like that's where he, where he's going with it. Uh, as for the other stuff, obviously you all heard my theories about the stones and the power within it and how it resides in the girls. Uh, don't know exactly how that how the how all that works yet, but that's just where my head is at. But man, and then finding and finding out exactly what finally happened to Sprig and Polly's parents. Obviously, that question was raised uh, in that episode where at the end where Sprig was kind of never really talked about his parents much and finally kind of talked about them and to find out that 
you know, they died in that attack and Hop Hop put a lot of blame on himself. He felt if he was there, that wouldn't have happened. I mean, that, uh, putting that mount, putting that sort of responsibility and guilt on yourself. That's hard. That must be really hard. And the fact that he will do anything to protect those kids even goes far as to somewhat betray Anne because he thinks that box is going to do something to harm them. I mean, it's very admirable. And then the previous one, finding out that uh, Felicia is just this world, badass world traveler. And I, lo I love the I love the Karate Kid reveal. Uh, you know, all these chores and arbitrary tasks are actually part of something much larger and tr getting you ready to learn these disciplines. I, I love that so much. It's funny because I just started watching Cobra Kai and there was a, you know, a Daniels teaching the one kid, you know, showing him the about wax on wax off and mopping and all that and how he eventually reveals to him how this actually works into karate uh but so that was a really cool one i really appreciate that one i hope uh she gets to take ivy out on her next uh adventure i would really love to see that but folks thank you so much for hanging out as always i really appreciate it and i'm gonna assume the next episode is uh we're gonna see the first temple i'm just gonna assume that's what we're doing seems like that's where the show is headed very excited for that mm, amphibia is really picking up steam i'm very excited but yeah have yourselves a great day and i'll see you in the next amphibia <laughs>